Welcome to Voice Bootcamp. My name is Faisal Khan and I'm the instructor for collaboration and contact center at Voice Bootcamp. In this soft study kit, we're going to focus on the Genesis Cloud Contact Center. We're going to start with giving you overview about the Genesis Cloud platform where the contact center is one component of it. Now we're going to learn uh, or give you brief descriptions about the collaborate, communicate, uh, walk you through the user interface as well as the admin into user interfaces. Now, the overview about the Genesis Cloud Platform is that Genesis Cloud Platform are divided into three different uh, components. You got the Collaborate, Communicate, or you got the Contact Center. Now, the Collaborate, which is basically contains a feature set that is based upon concept of a corporate directory. Now, if you are someone who have been working with IT for a long period of time, you probably have worked with a, some sort of corporate directory like such as Active Directory, uh, Open LDAP, or uh, Linux-based, uh, you know, a centralized user repository system. Now, the, the Collaborate in Genesis is designed to facilitate the collaboration between two users within your, two or more users within your organization through, of course, chat, video chat, telephone conversations, document sharing, et cetera. Think about like your corporate internal, like very similar to kind of your own Facebook workspace. At the center of your directory is of course, the ability to search. So if you want to search someone, you can search them by their profile information that is available to known to you. Could be their name, title, department, skills that they might have, or even certifications they might have. Now you may have a requirement where you want to list all your users that are certified in a certain insurance product, for example. So you could create that list by using such a search engine. Now Genesis Cloud Collaborate allows you to, of course, organize your users into appropriate group. And each one of those groups will have their own chat room. So if I create a group called sales, and then I assign 10 people into that sales group, those 10 people will be able to collaborate with each other via the group chat room. They can also create what we call a document workspace. That means they can share document within that group as well. Now the users can, uh, within that group, can of course set their status, whether they're available for chat or if they are busy at that moment. A clear indication of the status will help avoid time wasted waiting for a response when you know that person that you're trying to uh, contact it happens to be busy. So if you already know if they're busy or not, uh, you will automatically react based on that. So this is probably a better uh, productivity features of uh, that you might have when it comes to status availability. Now the ne next component within the Genesis Cloud Platform is of course the Cloud Communicate. The cloud communicate basically adds the telephony capability. So Collaborate will allow you to add users. Let's, let's say you add a user called Faisal Khan, you add a user David Smith or Vijay Kumar. And those people can chat with each other, but they cannot call each other. To be able to use their uh, capability to dial each other by the extensions or by other means, you need the telephony capability. And that is what the communicate is all about. Now, the telephony capability basically is on uh, is a feature that is top of your collaborate feature, making it a fully unified communication solutions for your organizations. Of course, you in your organization you have users, and you you need the ability for those users to call other users or other customers through some sort of a device, whether it is a software device or a physical phone. So in cooperation with the cloud, uh, Genesis Cloud Collaborate and Genesis Cloud Communicate, you now have what we call unified communications. Now the unified communications or unif uh, cloud communicate features will use the SIP protocol and IP telephony to establish phone calls across your local area network or between your corporate sites as well as over the internet. Now, in order for your employee or users to register their phone, so let's say they have phone and they want to have this phone in extension 3001. 
and they want to register with Genesis Cloud. So to be able to register a physical phone within your local office, you're going to need a device known as Genesis Cloud Edge device. Now think about the Edge device is a virtual machine or a physical machine that you may purchase from Genesis Cloud where your, all your endpoints will then register to. So this is the Edge. The Edge itself will be then registered to the Genesis Cloud environment. Now we'll talk about more details about that. In subs uh, we do talk about the details about it in a collaborate feature, but of course we're gonna go more details about that in, uh, the, in this particular course as well. So Genesis Cloud Edge device is either up on-premise or in cloud device or uh, gateway rather you can call it, which is basically used to route calls, play whole music, send or receive faxes or record calls. Now the on-premise device also provide remote serviceability. When the internet connection to the Genesis Cloud network goes down, at least that local area network users will be able to communicate. Now, on-premise device can provide that feature, then that feature is known as the survive, remote survivability. Now, the IVR response, in, uh, interactive I voice response functionality can also be provided by a built-in functionality of the Genesis Cloud known as the Architect, which allows you to create a custom menus, IVR functionalities, uh, applications for your organizations. Now, you can use the physical SIP phone or take advantage of Genesis Cloud web-based phone to place and receive a calls with a handset connected to your computer. So if you do not wanna, if you're one of those people doesn't do not like physical phone anymore or you don't wanna create and have one, well, you could use your computer browser like Google Chrome, which has a functionality called WebRTC to act as your software or web-based phone. You can also use a software-based client as well, like a, a Bria or a X Lite a X type of phone. So, but you know, by using the web browser as your phone device, you don't have to worry about you know any physical device being you know you're, 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 you'll be able to move around a lot. You can go to different countries, different locations, and you still have your phone with you. And you don't have to, you may not necessarily have to pay for license for that third party device that you have. Now the last portion, last component within this platform is called the contact center, which of course this particular vid, uh, section, series of videos that we're gonna focus on. Now the Genesis contact center adds the contact center features, functionalities on top of your base form by the collaborate and communicate. It does provide the CD engines, skills group, queuing capability, uh, ability to develop your own script and route calls through that script. And it also provides the ability to generate a report and uh, you know, customize the report for your organization's need. Now the user interface is pretty straightforward. It's a browser base hosted by the Genesis Cloud. Now Genesis uh, platform is actually hosted on Amazon AWS services. So the user interface, which is before we, of course, dive into more details, let's just show you what a user interface will look like. First, you'll go to something like https dot colon forward slash forward slash login dot mypurecloud.com on any web browser. There you'll find the ability uh, uh, login form that allows you to log in. Now, if this is the first time that you're setting it up, then you need to define your organization name so that it can create a profile for that. And of course, then you have your user interface where you see the name of the users, the group that you belong to, any relationship that you have for based on your profile, like relationship to your manager or your co-workers co or your vendors, for example. The locations that you belong to, which is could be physical or logical locations, any contact information, biography, this is something that you, you will typically see when you log in as a client user interfaces. Now the admin interface gives you more admin capability, such as creating account settings, people, some permissions, which is your directory, uh, services, and of course, various integration with an external applications. You can manage all your documents. You can handle all your contact center related tasks. 
you can do the routing or even outbound dialing. All of those functionality of your contact center in Genesis are managed under the admin window. Of course, it also manages your communicate, licensing, uh, creating user accounts, groups, and whatnot. Any tele telephony functionality will be also available, the quality as well as any workforce management. In Genesis Cloud, one of the first thing that you probably want to do is manage your roles and permissions because at some point you're going to have to give the users different privilege on the, with, uh, to be able to log in and manage your platform as well. In Genesis, you, you have something called the roles and permissions. Use, they use, you basically use the role and permissions to create, configure, verify, assign roles to each individual users. Now, each feature of the Genesis Cloud does have associated permission requirement for a particular user to access that resources. You add the permissions to your role, and then you assign the users to that particular role, which will give them the ability to access that feature. The resource center list that is required permission for each feature, of course, will be covered in more details, and I'll show you an example how you can do that. So these are the existing roles that you are available. You can, of course, add your own role, and you can take actions for based on add users to the rule, modify the rules, or set permissions or whatnot. Here you'll see all the users that are part of that particular rule and what license that particular rule is assigned to it. So there is a license called Communicate, license called uh, Collaborate, license called Pure Cloud, etc. Now, you can always get more details about your permissions and the rules by going into Genesis Cloud, the resource center. Genesis Cloud is designed around the idea of basically self-help management. So that basically means that if you get stuck, Genesis has created something called a resource management, that resource center, where you try to basically find the solution for yourself. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay the support program to purchase that so that they can provide your support. So that's the overview about what Genesis. Genesis Cloud is divided into three different uh, area. You got the Collaborate, which is for user account management, uh, group sharing, instant messaging, chat. So very similar to if you're comparing with Call Manager or CUCM, it is basically Call Manager with, a phone, with just the user capability and of course, presence capability. If you want the users to be able to dial each other or ability to, let's say, call by an extension or call external numbers, you do need to assign the communicate features, which adds the telephony feature to your collaborate solutions. And of course, final by is your contact center, where it provides a graphical user interface to build your contact center like skills, skills group, queue, uh, architect that can be used to provide IVR and whatnot. Hopefully you got an idea what Genesis Cloud is. And if you want to learn more about the Collaborate, please feel free to take a look at the Genesis Cloud CX implementation guide from Voice Bootcamp. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.